Theoretically, solar geoengineering could cool the entire planet. It's actually potentially incredibly simple because all you need to do is inject a bunch of particles into the stratosphere and there's a number of ways you could do that. Recently a study out of Yale and Harvard looked at the details of how this would be done. In that Harvard and Yale study, they imagined building a fleet of planes, up to 95 of them, that would make 60,000 flights a year. The fleet would spread hundreds of thousands of tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere every year. After 15 years, they reckon the world would cool by 0.3 degrees Celsius. But there are reasons not to do this. If the plan is to put a thermostat on the Earth, deciding who has their hand on the dial won't be easy. A Swiss proposal to study geoengineering and how it should be regulated was recently put forward at the UN Environment Assembly. But America and Saudi Arabia opposed the motion, possibly because they don't want international regulation of geoengineering. As things stand, not enough is known about how it could impact the climate or the chemistry of the atmosphere. There could be unexpected consequences. You can affect rain patterns and you might cause a region that is already suffering from drought to have even less water.